this morning I came to a freezing cold Lugano to say hello to my friends from Gerald Charles and to have a chill day together. But of course we're gonna discover some watches, therefore I am already wearing one, but uh, you know, Italian priorities are not the same for everyone, so we're gonna have a coffee and then come back to the park, which is the most iconic place in Lugano, and show you some watches and maybe some more. Let's go! First thing first, for an Italian, is a coffee. And so I came here at Café Al Porto in Lugano to enjoy my morning coffee, with which is good in a day like this, which is a bit chilling, enjoying a nice read, in this case, the New York Times, on which we can find a nice article about Joe Charles and, of course, about the Maestro Skelet, which is the same, actually not really the same, but let's say the same watch I'm having on the wrist, which we're going to review after the coffee. Two thousand twenty-two has come to an end. Therefore, it's time to present you the latest addition to the Gerald Charles watch collection. We're always talking about a Maestro case 8.0, so the typical watch case with a smile. In the reinterpretation, the skeletonized model made with Octavio Garcia, a watch designer that is very important. Therefore, you already have a video about the skeletonized. Maestro on my YouTube channel, so go check it out. But this time we have a pretty nice twist. We have a gem setting made by Salanitro in Geneva. 66 stones of four different colors, all limited to 10 pieces each, and all on the beautiful case and movement that is pretty new to Gerald Charles. So now we're talking about the Maestro 8.0 Skelet gem setting. Here with the sapphires, but we also have rubies, emeralds, and diamonds all in pretty different uh, measurements and sizes of the stones. The watch fits really good on the wrist and what I really like is that we have some color, we have a twist to it and we have something different that pairs really well with the skeletonization so well that we already have a legacy with Mr. Genta because we have designs and sketches about uh, skeletonized watches, gem setted, which I truly, truly like. And you know, this year, 2022 was pretty much about skeletonized watches and stones. Therefore, I would say that this is a great end to the year. Now I'm gonna have lunch with my friends and maybe unveil you a couple more watches and show you some more and more details of the watch. Now I just wanna enjoy it in the park and uh, with this freezing cold that, uh, you know, they say iced out somehow, so freezing cold. So we just finished the Sella di Capriolo, which is the most typical dish here around Lugano and around Italy and Switzerland, which is super good. I would just have a glance of it because, I mean, we love to eat together, not uh, with a camera on. But now, time to unveil you finally the other two protagonists, because we're missing the emerald, but uh, I'm going to show you somehow in more pictures. This is the diamond version, which has way bigger stones. And this is the rubies version, which to me is really interesting as, I mean, I've chosen the sapphire one, which is super easy for watchmaking as it's blue. This is easy because it's diamond and it pairs really well because it just gives a tiny bit of light, but not much color. And it's a re kind of reinterpretation of a skelet, but it's not a big variation. But this one to me is the most underrated somehow because red color is super popular in some countries in the world, but sure not in Italy and not around here but I think it's really interesting and it's a bit in a Christmas mood which uh, we kind of enjoy even during the year. Now it's time to go back to Milan. I will be back in Lugano to Joe Charles very soon and uh, we're gonna be back with a pretty nice video that's coming in a while. Thank you for following. Let us know which of these was your favorite version and um, come enjoy some good life on the lake.